how and when will modern and emerging technologies likely help agencies reduce some of these challenges that we've been talking about around connectivity and data integration? And Mitch, what else are you seeing in the way of how emerging technologies helping address some of these challenges? Yeah, so I certainly agree uh, with what Chris's perspective is as far as um, some of the strides that we're making sort of on the, on the infrastructure uh, level. The reality is today um, that while we're modernizing aspects of our environments, there's other aspects that are not modernized. And we're also moving into a world where it's gonna be multiple cloud providers that sort of dominate the infrastructure level. There's gonna be multiple different technologies that are used in terms of serving those forward networks in the defense context, whether that's 5G capabilities like Chris is describing or advancements in satellite communications uh, that are, you know, bring communications out uh, to the battlefield. And so uh, from our perspective, we want to make sure that we're able to deliver data capabilities despite the environments in which we're operating. We want to take advantage of those capabilities as best as possible and as they modernize, but interoperability is kind of the key where we need to operate across a heterogeneous IT environment. So that's one perspective. And then, and then the second piece um, that I think uh, sets our approach apart from what I'm seeing in, in a lot of other companies that are sort of working in, in, in data software is that we, we need to focus on delivering mission-centric capabilities that seamlessly promote the use of data to the end user system. So where other companies might be focusing on building tools uh, and capabilities for data engineers and data scientists, at the end of the day, uh, new technology is only as valuable as it is integrated with the people who are actually driving the organization forward. Whether that's the folks down on an assembly line or the soldiers out in the battlefield, of course, sailors in, in Tom's case. 